Hey, let's, uh, let's jump into it. So this particular training model requires you to work with building the ball first, uh, building a ball between your hands outside the body, and then poor breathing in an empty space of your body, and then tuning the fascia and the feeling of life force together, connecting it to your core through stretching the joints and the whole body, poor breathing with the fascia. And then when you're at that stage, you touch your partner's fascia and you breathe into their facial web. So what we're going to do is um, just a bit that way so you don't hit the altar. Okay, so I'll use the fingertips to do the listening. So if you look at his body, as I tap, it's going down through his body. And uh, this, uh, I'm going to do a few of them incorrectly and do a few of them correctly. And you're going to see, see a big... Um, a big difference in, in the, the way his, if I use mechanical pressures, see how it, it flexes his arms and it catches in his shoulders. But when I open the gym and the energy, it doesn't seek to use a tension line, it just sticks to the fascia and comes back into the tension via the fascia, it's a, a different effect. And with my fingers, I'm actually pushing more down than forward as I push that energy through. So it's quite a soft. And I have to breathe into his facial web in the space of where I want him to go. If I do it wrong and my mind is stuck to me, nothing happens. But when I get my year, my stretch, in through him, I get the right result. So here what we want the take home is get your building the ball right, get your whole body poor breathing into empty space underneath your body, breathe into empty vessel like a balloon, your body's balloon, breathe in, compress, breathe out, then bridge to the fascia, stretch your life force into your fascia, web through your stretching, tune the fascia to the feeling of life force. Once your mind is in, on the right frequency and doesn't get caught by your body, and then breathe into his fascia and stretch through his fascia, connecting your facial web to his facial web and breathe into the space where you want to send your partner. And explore the difference between doing it right and doing it wrong. You really need to feel that's wrong and that's right. So it's a difference in the way you stretch through your partner, which means your yi is, is connected to your partner when you stretch through them. If I stretch at my partner, the structure is collapsing. I'm not getting it. And, and if I push on him normally, then I'm going to be in a wrestling match. Where when I just relax the energy through his facial web and stretch through uh, a unity or connection with my partner into his body, and then I stretch through his body with the energy, because I'm not restricted in the stretch to his fascia. I absorb into the fascia first, and then I stretch through and out to where I want it to go. So we have this attachment to form concept that, ah, is that even possible? Well, of course, two elastics can stretch through each other, but the kinetic energy released out of the elastic is going to move an object further, and it'll go where you, your mind stretches and intends the energy to go. So getting these stages of, of breathing into space, breathing into space underneath your body, breathing and bridging that feeling of energy into your fascia, tuning the fascia, breathing into your partner and separating the difference between a wave and a field. Remember, your dantian is an essence field, a center of gravity of an essence field. It's not a center of gravity of something that emits waves. It's a part of a field of life force, and this is the center of it. So when you connect everything into the center and breathe from center out, that is the alpha tuning fork, the center of gravity of your field. Your abdominal muscles are very strong and you want to float and ground yourself within that feeling of life force. If you're floating inside the feeling of life force, the pressure gets taken off your joints and it has longevity inside of it. If you're using a sinking model where you drop the hip stretch upon sink, and I did this for a very long time and wrecked my body, you, your joints get compressed, your knees get wrecked, your hip, your lower back, you have these uh, 
problems right through your whole body and you just make one little mistake and uh, you know you pick up something the wrong way and bang, your body's broken because of the amount of compression and damage you're, you're doing with the ground pass model. So throw the ground pass model out, Duntian model, connect all the energy to your core and then stretch, breathe into life force, tune your fascia. The act of tuning your fascia to the feeling of life force allows you to stretch through your partner's fascia and, and bridge and connect with it to create kinetic connection for your energy to affect them. Now, this isn't even getting to the chi stage. This is still just working on the vital stage. When you get to the chi stage where you're relaxing, tuning the breath and slowing it all down and sinking the chi into the dantian, not to the root, and in sinking into the field, then you get a deeper, stronger connection. But this is very simple, very easy to do, and uh, uh, a beginner can learn how to do this in a few weeks uh, if they can get their mind in the right place. Okay, thanks for your time. See you in the next video.